Hello guys, my name is Anthony Berry. I'm Ant-Man 872. Here is the iPod Touch 2nd Generation 3.1 jailbreak. As you can see, I have the iPod Touch 2G right here. And here is the iPhone 3GS 32GB black. Uh, I'll be doing a jailbreak pretty soon on that. Um, okay, so you have to be jailbroken with either 3.0 or 3.01 um, on your iPod Touch. Okay, so as you can see, I'm jailbroken, and let me just show you that I'm on 3.0. You have to be on 3.0. It's the rules. Okay, so 3.0, if you can see that. I don't know if you can, but I don't care. Okay, so make sure you're on 3.0 or 3.0.0 or 3.0.1, okay? Um, now, once you're on that with your iPod Touch second generation, download uh, the Pwnage tool off of the dev team's website so you just scroll down to you see official bit torrent and it's a torrent so you just click it download it open it in whatever torrent client you use and then you're gonna get a DMG drag the application to your applications folder open up the application so open up Ponish tool uh, click iPod touch 2G and click expert mode um, make sure you have a 3.1 firmware downloaded, as you see, the 3.1.1. Um, go to custom logos, and you, I don't know if this works, I'm not sure. It hasn't worked in the past, so I just don't do it, period. Um, you could add all the sources and packages if you want, I've never I've done that, I use, usually just do it by hand. Build the firmware, um, save it as whatever, I already have one right here, as you get, if you guys can see that. An iPod 2, one custom firmware. So I'm just not going to do this. So you should get something saying, like, I has completed or good job. Um, okay, so now make sure your device is plugged in. Okay. And open up iTunes. Now you, it's going to take a while for that firmware, and it's going to ask you for your password as well. So once you have iTunes, click, if when you get this, just click Don't Install. Go to cancel any syncs. Now you're going to want to click, um, you are going to want to click uh, restore, option click, all, option slash alt, and click restore. Then click the iPod, um, whatever the firmware's name, it should say uh, the firmware name and then custom firmware.ipsw. There should be a custom firmware at the end. Then click choose. It's going to extract the software. You should not have any problems with this. You shouldn't get any errors. If you do, I don't know, um, make sure that you're running 3.0 when you update. Um, and message me if you guys have any errors with iTunes. I have had errors, but I've seen what I've done. Um, so I'm going to come back when this is finished.